Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to start this new topic of material costing that is FIFO method of inventory valuation. So now what is this FIFO? First in first out method of inventory valuation. That is what is FIFO method. Yes, so now what happens in FIFO method? In FIFO method, whatever comes in first into our warehouse, yeah, into our store, it has to go out first from our warehouse. Now where it will go? If it's a factory, it will go to the production process or if it's a normal retail business, then it will go to showroom to be sold. Yes, but here we are discussing about the factory. See, it's very simple. When you purchase raw materials from your supplier, then he will deliver it. Yeah, they will deliver it to your warehouse. And then as and when the production department or your retail showroom, if it is in need of the raw materials, yes, the inventory, then it will request your store and your store will issue or send the raw material to the production department or the inventory to the, to the showroom. Yes, that's what happened normally in the business. So now here, what we do in FIFO method is whatever that has come first into the warehouse, in that order only, it will go out first. Simple as that. That is what is FIFO. First in, first out. See, it's very simple. Let's say, for example, on 1st January, your warehouse received 20 quantity at the price 7. Okay, and then on 2nd January, let's say it received 30 quantity at the price 8. And on 3rd January, it received 40 quantity of raw material at price 6. Right. So now let's say the production department requested that it is in need of 50 quantity and it made a request to the store department. Okay. So now how the store department will release those 50 quantity? It will release in a particular order because they are following FIFO method. Let's say in this example, they are doing that. They are following FIFO method. So in FIFO method, what happens? Whatever comes in first, it has to go out first. So what came in first? 20 quantity at the price 7 came first on 1st January. So they need 50. Yes, they need 50. So first you will pick this 20 at the price 7. 20 quantity at the price 7. And then you will pick and then you need 30 more, right? So you will pick 30 at the price 8. Okay, right? So in this order, first in first out order, right? In this order, you will pick this and you will send it out to the production department. This is what is FIFO. So now you will be wondering how the valuation is coming here. See here. We are not just taking the quantities in that order, the price also. So that is what the valuation is. That is how the inventory will be valued. First in, first out. Whatever we purchase first from the supplier, in that order, we are sending them out to the production department. Yeah. So that is how we are doing the valuation through the FIFO method. Okay. And then there is LIFO also that is exactly opposite. We'll see that later in another video. So, yeah. So this is what is FIFO method. It is a method of pricing the issue of materials in the order in which they are purchased. Right. You purchase them. See here on 1st January, you purchase 20 quantity. On 2nd January, you purchase 30. On 3rd January, you purchase 40. And at these prices. So now how they will be released to the production department in the order they were purchased. Okay. You see this? This is what is first in first out method of inventory valuation. Yeah, whatever items of inventory are received first are assumed to be sold first or issued to the production department first. Okay, this is what is FIFO method. Now let's solve a problem on this and you will understand what is this FIFO method. Okay, whatever comes in first, it has to go out first. It's very simple, right? And the LIFO is exactly opposite to that. Okay, we'll see that in another video. Now let's go to the problem of FIFO. Now here we have the problem, see here, from the following information, prepare stores ledger account under FIFO method, right? So now what is this store ledger? Store ledger is an account that is prepared by the warehouse to keep the track of materials. How much material has come into the warehouse and how much material has gone out of the warehouse and how much material do they have right now in the warehouse, okay? To keep track of the materials that stores ledger account is prepared and in all the problems, what are we going to do? We are going to prepare that stores ledger only, okay? It is prepared under different, different methods. Okay, now here we are discussing about FIFO method. So we are preparing stores ledger under FIFO method. First in, first out method. See the question here, it's very simple. Now, first they have said on January 1st, 2019, we have got 500 units from our supplier, right? We have received 500 units at rupees 20 per unit. Now here you have to think from the point of view of the warehouse. Okay. What has come into the warehouse? What has gone out of the warehouse? Understood? Yes. So first you have to understand the format of stores ledger. See the format is very simple. You have got date column, 
receipt column issues column and balance column yeah receipts means what has come issues mean what has gone out and then balance mean whatever that is there in the warehouse right and then in these three column receipts issues and balance there are three more sub columns quantity price amount quantity price amount quantity price amount fine okay now the first transaction that we have got is see here on 1st january 2019 we have received 500 units in our warehouse add rupees 20 per unit simple it is a receipt yeah we have got that in our warehouse we have to see from the point of view of warehouse so it will come on the receipt side we have got the quantity and price and if you multiply that we will get the cost the amount simple just copy that down on 1st january 2019 we have got 500 quantity add the price rupees 20 into 20 that is 10,000. 10,000 is the cost then what you have to do you have to copy that down to the balance column yeah balance mean what balance means you have 500 quantity right now in our warehouse yeah so 500 20 10,000. simple you have to copy that exactly down yeah or if there is an opening stock that is given to you in the question then you have to directly take that into the balance column yeah you didn't receive that right now it's just a balance yeah whatever that was there from previously if opening stock is given in your question yeah but here they have said we have purchased we have received 500 units so first you have to take into the receipt column and then copy that down exactly in the balance column yeah the first receipt will always be like this okay fine and then what you have to do and then you have to go to the second transaction on january 10 yeah 10 january what has happened we have got another receipt see here we have received 300 units at rupees 24 per unit fine it's very simple so what you have to do you have to write that down in the receipt column on 10 january we have got 300 quantity at the price 24 300 into 24 that is equal to 7200 yeah yes simple yes now how will you copy this the second receipt into the balance column how will you do that that is the main thing okay most of the students they make mistakes over there if you make a small mistake right then your entire 5-4 problem will be wrong so that is why the balance column should be done proper carefully okay so see it's very simple whenever you get a receipt right let's say you are doing the 5-4 calculation this statement yeah this account then immediately let's say you get a receipt yeah so whenever you get a receipt what you have to do is you have to draw a line in the balance column okay you have to draw a line and then whatever that was there in the balance column you have to copy that exactly down okay see here i drew a line over here whatever that was there in the balance column i took it below 520 10000 exactly same yeah 520 10000 yes and then whatever received you have got take that exactly below what you have copied just now yeah first take this down after drawing the line and then take this thing below that okay this is what you have to follow right. simple let's move on you will understand that on january 15 what has happened we have issued 700 units we have sent out 700 units probably to the production department yeah so how will you record this this is going out of the warehouse that is issues so you will have to take that into issue column simple see here now what do you have in the warehouse in the warehouse you have two lots one is 500 quantity lot of rupees 20 and the cost is 10,000 and another lot of 300 yeah this lot that was price rupees 24 yeah and the cost is 7,200 so now you have to send out 700 yeah as said in the question 700 units so how will you do that you have to follow first in first out yeah FIFO method how will you do that first you will take out 500 quantity at this 20 yeah you have to send out 700 yes but first you have to take this first lot yeah first in first out so first lot completely and then you need additional 200 that will come from the second lot from this 300 lot okay so 200 at the price 24 so see here that's the same two then the second one see here 200 into 24 that is equal to 4800 yeah simple so this is what will go out of the warehouse and then what will remain in the warehouse what is the balance how will you take the balance now you have to draw a line okay and now this 500 is no more it has gone out of the warehouse so nil 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 but here in the second lot what has happened in the second lot in this 300 quantity only 200 has gone out so remaining you have to take it 100 is remaining if 200 has gone out out of 300 100 is remaining yes 
at price will be same 24 so 100 into 24 that is equal to 2400 so 2400 is the balance that is left in the warehouse till here you understood it's very simple and then what happened see here on january 20 you got a receipt now what i told you whenever you get a receipt go to the balance column yeah go to the balance column draw a line yeah draw a line copy exactly whatever that is there in the balance column 124 2400 is there in the balance column copy that exactly down 124 2400 okay and then go back to that transaction on january 20 received 400 units at rupees 28 per unit yeah you have received in your go down you have received in your warehouse 400 units at rupees 28 copy that in the receipt column record that on january 20 yeah on january 20 you have got 400 quantity rupees 28 yeah and the amount is 400 into 28 that is equal to how much 11200 that is the cost of 400 quantity right but what i told you whenever you get a receipt what you have to do draw a line in the balance column copy whatever that is there previously in the balance column down yeah you did that and then you have to take this receipt exactly below that you have to take this you have to copy this and paste it over here right you understood copy this down yeah whatever that is there in the balance column and then take this below that simple yes and then move on you're getting it right what i'm telling you yeah and then move on see here and then on january 25 what happened on january 25 issued 300 units we have to send out 300 units yeah we are following fifo method so see here we have two lots now one is 124 2400 and then the new lot which we got right that is 428 11200 yeah so now what you have to do is you have to send out 300 units so how will you do that simple first in first out whatever that is first you have to send that out first so 100 is first so you will send out 100 124 2400 yeah and then the remaining 200 you have to send out 300 right as said in the question but you have sent out only 100 so additional 200 has to be sent out so that 200 will come from the second lot okay 228 okay see here 228 the price is 28 so 200 into 28 that is equal to 5600 simple 200 into 28 that is equal to 5600 now you have to write the balance how much is left in the warehouse now after sending out this 300 quantity see here it's very simple this 100 is entirely gone nil 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 yeah now from 400 you have sent out 200 so the remaining is 200 and the price is 28 so 200 into 28 that is equal to 5600 simple yeah so this is what is left in the warehouse how much quantity 200 quantity of rupees 28 the cost is 5600 and then what happened move on on january 28 you have got another receipt of 500 units what i told you whenever you get a receipt draw a line in the balance column see here draw a line in the balance column and then copy the receipt first see here what has happened we have got 500 units add rupees 22 right so you we have got 500 quantity at price 22 so 500 into 22 that is equal to 11,000 yeah 11,000 and then what do you have to do in the balance column draw a line copy whatever that is there in the balance column previously copy that down exactly 228 5600 copy that exactly down 228 5600 yeah and then what you have to do is whatever that you have received now take that yeah copy it and paste it exactly below that 522 11,000 simple yeah this is what we do whenever we get a receipt draw a line whatever that is there previously in the balance column copy that down and whatever you have got just now copy that below understood yeah and then the last transaction on january 31 what is happening on january 31 you have issued 200 units you have issued 200 units 200 units are going out of the warehouse simple it's not tough see here now what you have in the warehouse you have this lot yeah these two lots you have 200 and 500 lot yes 200 was the previous lot and the 500 was you received it right just previously 500 yes okay so now you have to send out 200 200 units as said in the question 200 issued 200 units so how will you do that 
simple this entire lot you can send it out right 200 28 5600 so what is left that thing is entirely gone yeah you can take it nil 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 and you can take whatever that is left below also yeah but i have not taken nil nil over here it's your choice okay so i've directly taken 522 11000 this is the closing stock now this is what is left in the warehouse this much balance yeah so you can write that down below also closing stock column 522 11000 okay simple as that so this is how you have to do the fifo method yeah this is how you have to prepare the store ledger account whatever that comes in first you have to throw that out you have to send it out first simple as that but the only thing you have to be careful about is the balance column yeah how to do the balance column whenever you get a receipt you know draw a line copy whatever that is there in the balance column previously down yeah and then copy the new thing exactly down simple right so now in the next video we are going to see lifo okay 